Hey everybody, I'm Axel Grave, back with more reactions with the next. As always, remember to support the original content creator by using the links on screen and in the description below. If you'd like to support our channel, use the info at the end of this video to like, comment, subscribe, follow, join our Discord, or become a patron at patreon.com slash 3D. Thanks for listening to my boring spiel and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and we're back with more reactions with an X. I'm super happy to get into more Tokyo Revengers. I was really kind of like meh on the first part of the first episode, but it really pulled it together with that ending. I gotta tell you guys, it super pulled it together with the ending. There's no doubt in my mind that it is at least a bit unique and worth spending a little more time on, right? Past episode one at least, right? So I'm hoping this will be really great. The other thing is I haven't read the manga, and that's a big deal for me. So I'm I'm happy to do that, and maybe I'll... uh. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll really enjoy this. Uh, it's actually been hit or miss. Some of them have been really good, like Jujutsu Kaisen I hadn't read. It, and I knew it was going to be. It was really not a no-brainer that no, that, that was going to be a pretty good uh, anime. However, I felt like there was some... It's always some ambiguity, right? Because So I'm a Spider, So What didn't work out for us. Unfortunately, I'm sure people don't aren't up and down. It's weird because people were liking the videos, even though I was kind of trashing them. But I think it's because it's the... It's, it's whatever and then some people were not liking the videos where I did trash them. And we stopped watching, so we're not going to talk about it too much, but it's our example of how it can be up and down and how this one's still not in the clear, right? Just because one pretty good episode happened doesn't mean I'm st I'm set because that was how So I'm a Spider was. Anyway, enough talking about that. Super shout out to our patrons as always. Mad Stringer, Mayak Waters, you guys are the best, the bomb, and the diggity on top of it. And I, I really uh, appreciate you couldn't do this without you and I, I really would be very much less motivated to do it without you guys keep me on schedule keep me on track and you know keep me responsible with that said we are going to go ahead and get back into tokyo revengers this is episode two i don't remember the mother name i also skipped past past the recap episode two is resist and i did skip past the recap it was only about two minutes they don't seem to have like an intro yet but they might a little later or i might have forgotten that i skipped it last time i don't know it could be any of those you know what i mean Jesus, I'm whiter than a goddamn bleach bottle. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at this. I gotta turn off some of these. I've observed something about your power. So he did an exact 12 year jump. I actually was more excited for this than One Piece today, which is weird. Mega eyes open. Uh, I was like trying to figure out what it all was. You should definitely... That's not effective. That's not how you effectively ingest information. Well, unless it is for you, I guess, but after, it, I, I don't care. After two days of being awake, your brain wouldn't be processing the information correctly anymore. That's what I was about to guess. I was like, I bet that picture's him getting bodied, but I didn't say it in time. <laughs> You're right, it must be real. So, one sec, I want to say this, guys. I've never really, I don't stop videos, I gotta do it more. Or maybe less people don't like it. I'm stopping it because I want to make an observation about his power that's really interesting in terms of time travel, and it kind of falls along some of the uh, Days of Future Past stuff from X-Men in my head. Uh, not 100% the same, but it's very similar in the sense that his body, right, doesn't go back. Right, he doesn't at his age return he's not physically time traveling but the basics of it is that he's not physically going back in time just his mind's going back in time into his old body and on top of that it seems like though with maybe a few exceptions that even though he was in this body and maybe makes different choices or does something else that his he doesn't remember it right when his consciousness leaves he goes back to being his regular teenage self at that time and goes through life at basically the same pace 
Whereas other people are able to make decisions that change it, right? Like that other kid was able to save him as opposed instead of dying. So even though he is able to interact and change people, it didn't seem like his actions following that changed with the knowledge of what he had, right? Like he didn't, he didn't suddenly have a better job or something because he knew from when his older self was in his head that it was going there. It was like a total consciousness switch where it was like, all right, this is his new stuff. And then when he comes back, he's just going to be the same old him. But yeah, all right, we're going to go back into it. But I thought that was really interesting. And I'm going to keep it in mind as we go forward. Can I go to... Ah, it works here. I don't even know if I can go back again. If we can go back to the day my sister died and keep her from going to that festival, it might be possible to save her. But since we can't go back to the exact date we want, yeah. That's the other thing is power is very interesting with that. It's a little less overpowered, right? That's a little weird, but I mean, it is fiction. Science fiction, so... Dude, of course he believes he can travel through time. Good. Good. Good, you should. She seemed like she was really good for you. They have an August casinos. Alright, yeah, that's how it works then. Oh, that was pretty cool, actually. It was a little cartoony as opposed to anime-like, but... He's in a fight! He's in a fight! Bro, if someone's in front of you and you wake up and their fists are out, put your fists up. Piece of pro advice. That's right, they're little gophers now, right now. Why was he so surprised? That was literally the point of what they were doing. Fight back is less fun to beat up on people who fight back, trust me. He really, he really honestly is. I mean, they are too in a different way. But if you're not going to stand up for yourself, how can you expect anybody else to? No, you're an idiot. I don't even want to look. It's so embarrassing. I don't want to know. Yeah, that was a bad thing. Ow. The bat's a different one. There's no fight in that one. That was dumb of him, though. He really struck some kind of nerve with the dude. Like I said, he was never going to win, but fucking get up and fight or run away. I know he just got the shit beat out of him. But where was that energy from the park, bro? Keep that energy from the park. This motherfucker does not deserve her. But it's so goddamn cute. <laughs> Uh, he's probably still stronger than him, let's be honest. Get your shit together, homie! Get that, get that BD energy back. He needs that big dick energy. She is fucking adorable, bruh. They're, they're honestly so cute together. I'm just so mad, because right now he's like pussyfooting around with a girl that is obviously probably the best thing that's ever going to happen to him. 
<laughs> well, then learn to fight. If you can't get out of it. Yep. No idea. That was the guy who was crying earlier. You better fucking do something, I swear to God, homie. If you can't stand up for your friends. Right, he didn't imagine his hands. That's funny. I didn't, I, I wouldn't even pay enough attention for that because I'm like, look, you gotta stand up for your homies. Five hundred yen of my life savings. <laughs> See, this dude's got more balls than homie's got. Currently, maybe not the old version of him. This is the time to do this. This is actually works. Yeah, there you go. Come on, man. Yep. This works because it's a challenge to his uh, integrity. So what he's what he's saying here, why this works? I, I love that he's doing this too. This is this is the redemption, right? So it seems like he's gonna do the Usopp move, which is to bitch out and then come back and make up for it every time. <laughs> I can live with that as long as he makes up for it and isn't always fucking up and makes slow improvement, right? This is great. This is exactly what I wanted from him. Why this works is by doing this, what he's doing is in front of the entire gang of people, right? This dude's gang, really. Fuck all the other guys. Is he's challenging his individual power. He's saying, like, I'm gonna fight you where you don't have a bat, where these three dudes aren't gonna beat me up if I punch you, right? We're in a match and sh and and challenge your power, right? He's really challenging, saying, you're not that great of a fighter. I could beat your ass. And here's why it works, because obviously the dude could just be like, you know, fuck this guy. You go three, th dump him in a river, beat him up, hit him, stab him, whatever. And the, there would be no repercussions from him from Takamichi, obviously. that There's nothing happening there. However, what it will do is so slight doubt into his ranks. By doing that, by challenging his power and authority as somebody who is not, right, like, powerful or considered ultra right like it would be different if they knew this was a super threat or something and then it'd be like understandable to be like no nah, i'm not fighting you right now or something else even then it would be like then it'd be almost worse right like you're bitching out because you know he's stronger and you can't really beat him whereas this one it's like he you know this guy's weaker and it's almost an insult that he's even challenging you and if you're not gonna step up and and crush the bug which you should be able to do his troops may get the idea that they can overtake him, right? That, you know, that's a sign of weakness. And so he can't really leave it unchallenged in, in any way. He could handle it in other ways, but he can't really just have his boys cart him off real easy and be like, you know, get rid of him without the repercussion of possibly losing respect among his own troops and, and therefore not losing some of the cementing of his, like, leadership and alpha authority. Because a lot of this works off of, like, perceived uh power and like authority and he actually challenged him which is a whole nother thing yes exactly i have to change nothing else will the other reason this works is it might actually work out in his benefit even if he doesn't win this fight if he does okay the dude may Think he has some spunk and push him into the ranks right it may change up a bit i don't know we're gonna have to see i'm excited actually i i i hated his bitching out the whole episode and then he literally he literally is a bitch for 
eighty percent of the episode, and they give him like five minutes where he's like a good, a good, like he stands up and he makes that good protagonist hero stand up for himself move or stand up for other move. And I think that's really something too that they do show, which I will say is he's only really bitching out a lot of the time when it comes to himself, right? Where he's being picked on, and when he stands up for other people. Well, he, when he stands up, it's for other people, right? It was for the kid. It's for his friend. And that is a... I like that a lot. You shouldn't just always fight or always be combative or... Right? Just because someone's calls you a name or something, you know, get over it in their words. Nor should you just let it, people say whatever they want all the time, right? Like, I'm not saying that either. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. Special shout-outs for patrons, as always. Matt Stringer, Mike Waters, you guys are absolutely incredible positively stupendous and you may even be splendiferous but without you guys i wouldn't be able to do this so really appreciate everything you do for us also shout out to the original content creators i actually don't know the author's name yet but remember to check out tokyo revengers on crunchyroll as well as what i assume is a manga for it because it's pretty good so far uh and once again even if i don't like it you might like it right i enjoyed this first part pretty well so you might like it going on even if i stop liking it so i really Really hope to see you guys next time on Reactions with an X, Tokyo Revengers. Have a great day, guys. If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. We know we're not perfect and we can always improve, so please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month. This will also give you early access to all of our online content, including comics, gaming, music, and of course more of these reactions. Even if you're not able to do any of this, it means the world to me that you'd sit down and watch my video all the way through to the end. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm Axel Grave, and I hope to see you next time for more reactions with the next.